Lesson 12.2. Describe data collection. Unlock the problem. One way to describe a set of data is by stating the number of observations. Or measurements that were made. Another way is by listing the attributes that were measured. An attribute is a property or a characteristic of the item being measured, such as its color or its length. Jeffrey's Hobbies is collecting rocks and minerals. The chart gives data on garnets he found during a recent mineral hunting trip. So identify, we need to identify the attribute being measured, the unit of measure, the likely means by which measurements were made, and the number of observations. So, describe the data. What property or characteristic of the garnet did Jeffrey measure? The attribute Jeffrey measured was the mass of the garnet. So, the mass. The unit used to measure the mass of the garnets was grams. Okay, so this is the mass, and then here they have the G, and we know that G stands for grams. Okay, that's a unit of measure. To measure mass in grams, Jeffrey probably used a scale or balance, because grams is, is how heavy something is. It's when you weigh something. The number of observations Jeffrey made was 12. And you can get that number by here, looking right here in your set, the number 12. Oh. I'm trying to use my highlighter, use the wrong one. Okay, number one. Would Jeffrey likely have gotten the same data set if he had measured a different group of garnets? Explain. No. I gotta change my color back. So no, he would not, because it's a different set. So garnets found. in nature would occur in many different sizes. And Jeffrey wouldn't find 12 of the same or 12 with the same masses. The likelihood of that would not. Um, number two, what other attributes of the garnet would Jeffrey have measured? So possible answers could be he could have measured the length of them, the rocks and minerals. He could have measured the color and put that into his data set. He could have looked at um, the brightness of them, or he could have looked at how hard the rocks were. Let me just skip that. Sharon Shell. Describe the data set by listing the attribute measured. The unit of measure, the likely means of measurement, and the number of observations. So number one, we need to look over here. So you need to be sure that you are able to look at and read a graphic organizer in this lesson. Greg's 100 meter race results. So 100 meter run data got it okay we're looking at the right graphic source so the attribute was time to run race 
is the time that it took him to run the race. Unit of measure was in seconds. Because we can look at this. Time was in seconds. Likely means of which measurements were taken. So think about how you measure time. Well, we know that you usually use a stopwatch, especially if you're measuring seconds. And number of observations, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is the amount of times that they observed his running time. Number two, the Andrews family water use. So I'm going to look at the second data set. So the second graphic organizer is where you're going to look so right here to answer these questions. So daily water use, the Andrews family water use. So we're going to do just exactly what we did up here. So we need the attribute would be amount of water daily. That's a keyword to add. And then um, the unit of measure. So unit of measure is going to be in gallons. Look at me and my pen. Okay. Then we're going to look at the likely means of measurement. So measurement, we'll put means of measurement. So if you don't live in town, they look at your water meter to see how much water your family has used. And then number of times, number of times that they observed in this table, that say, so you just have to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So times is 14. All right, so let me go through that with you real quick. Okay, so the attribute is the amount of water daily. That's number one. Unit of measure is in gallons. Means of measure, so how they're measuring how much water is the water meter. And then... They observed 14 times. 